Welcome to the Bluebeam Review Tutorial by Brighter Graphics. This video tutorial will explain how to edit and design PDFs from scratch in Bluebeam Review 21. Let's see how you can do so. After opening Review 21 on your desktop, go to the Files menu and from the drop down, select the New PDF option. In the new dialog box, you can create a custom template or choose built-in templates from various options. Let's create a custom PDF form of 6 by 11 inches. You can also switch the orientation from portrait to landscape or vice versa. You can create a blank PDF or choose various options like the one with grid lines or more. To keep it simple, we are creating a document with one PDF page. Once you are done, click OK. Here, we have the blank PDF we will design and edit in Bluebeam Review. Hold the control key and scroll your mouse wheel up and down to zoom in and out, respectively. From the navigation bar at the bottom or by pressing the V key, you can opt for the Select tool. The Select tool is used to select different markups and images on your drawing. We will see how. Or you can use the Pan tool from the navigation bar or press the Shift plus B keys. It helps you navigate your PDF document with ease. Before starting designing, ensure that your Snap to Markup and Snap to Content features are enabled, allowing magnetic attraction between objects and content to avoid too much attention to detail. Now, zoom in to the desired PDF region and go to the Tools option at the top. From the drop-down, go to Markup. Let's select an image we want to add to this design workflow. Select the image file, like JPEG or PNG that you want to add. Now, click and drag to draw an image. Once you are done, release the click and your image will be there. You can use handles at the vertices to resize the image and the handles between the vertices to stretch or compress the image horizontally or vertically. You can reposition the image by clicking and dragging the image to adjust to your desired position. Whereas the blue colored handle at the top helps you rotate the image clockwise or anti-clockwise. From the markup toolbar at the top, you can increase or decrease your image's opacity and various other options you can explore on your own, like fill color, line color, mask, etc. Now, return to the Tools menu to add text markup. Click and drag to draw a text box and click inside the text box to type. Then, enter your desired text. You can cut, delete, copy, or paste text using shortcut keys and cursor like in any text editor or Word document. Simple and straightforward. Once done, go to the markup toolbar at the top to set your desired font size. Adjust the text box with handles. Now, let's select the text in a line below to resize it to match the alignment of the text above. Next, select your font style, or you can do it before setting your font size. It all depends on your preferences and creativity. At the left on your font editor, select your font color. You can use a color picker to pick colors from your PDF, use the available colors, or click the arrow below to open the color mixer and use your branding colors. 
You can use hexadecimal code or RGB value to set your branding tone in colors. Resize to eliminate unwanted text box areas, and here you go. Let's select a line tool from the Tools menu or Revu toolbar. Click and drag to draw a line markup. You can use available line styles or create a custom style in Bluebeam. Let's keep it simple and increase the line thickness. Now, select the line color and set your custom color to keep a consistent brand tone. Next, right-click on the line and hit Copy to create an exact copy of your custom line, then drag it above the text. Or you can also copy a line by clicking and dragging a line while holding a control key. Okay, now create a rectangular shape to create custom bullets or whatever you want, including a text separator or a random shape. Let's change its line and fill color to match our theme. Now, rotate it to 45 degrees. Then, click and drag while holding the control key to create a copy of it. When you drag to reposition and align your shapes, Revu will automatically show you a reference line to help with vertical alignment. If you reposition horizontally, you will also get a horizontal reference line. You can also enable grid lines from the navigation and turn on the snap to grid option for auto alignment. Now let's create a text box to add bullet text. Click and drag to apply the image markup. We will create multiple copies of the same text line to save time, but you can create your preferred text. Use the markup editor to change the font style and color. Now click and drag the text box to align perfectly with the bullet shapes. You can also adjust bullet shapes to match the alignment with your bullet lines individually.
If you press Shift and click your shapes and text box, you can select multiple objects and drag them in parallel. Remember, all our text and images are not flattened on the PDF and can be moved anywhere. To flatten your PDF content, for instance, this image here, right-click on the image and click Flatten from the menu. But what about other objects? Don't worry, you can flatten the entire document in a single go. Go to the Documents tab in the menu bar, hit the Flatten option, or press the Ctrl plus Shift plus M keys. Wait for the document to load, and now, if you try to select or move any item, you won't be able to do that as all the objects on your document are now flattened. To undo this, just press Ctrl plus C or Ctrl plus Shift plus U. Remember, your markup list below will only show data for non-flattened markups or objects. If you flatten the document, your markup list will stop showing their data as it is now part of your PDF. Let's create logos below to add branding to the PDF by adding images from the markup tools. Draw and drag to apply the logo. Now, here comes the second one. Let's click and drag the logos to reposition them to the right place. And this is it. How can you add actions to your markups, like page scrolls or website links? To do so, right-click the markup or image you want to link. Then, hit the Edit Action option from the menu. Here, you can add various actions like jumping to a specific page, space, or place of a document. You can jump to specific drawing regions, open website links, or open other files. Let's create a hyperlink by checking the bullet option. Now, just type or paste the link you want to attach here. Once you are done, click OK. For unflattened markups, your cursor will not turn into a go to link gesture, and you have to click the thunder symbol below to open the link. If we flatten this image and hover our cursor over it, then it will prompt you to open the link. Just click the image, and Bluebeam will establish a connection with the internet to open the link you just attached. Let's add another action to the logo below. Check the Snapshot View option, click the Get Rectangle button. Bring the selection crosshair to your desired PDF region. Then click and drag to make a selection. Bluebeam will start showing the coordinates and document path for your selected region. Once satisfied, click OK. Now, flatten this markup to make it actionable.
to land directly in this region, simply click the logo you edited the action for. And here it goes. Similarly, you can add actions to your text or bullets, even if they are flattened. Just draw a simple rectangle markup around your text. Decrease the line thickness to zero to make it disappear. Then go to the Edit Action button. Let's add a link to our YouTube channel and see how it works. Click OK once you are done. Next, flatten your rectangle markup. And your text starts showing an open link prompt if you hover your cursor over it. Click and wait for the tab to load, and here it is. Now, let us show you what else you can do with these simple techniques mixed with your creativity. This is our Bluebeam Me Up monthly newsletter for September that we created on Bluebeam. This is a multi-page PDF you can navigate from the navigation bar at the bottom. You can also create banners, flyers, or professional drawings using these features with your creative skills. Here, we added links to our socials on different social icons. Click to open a link in a separate Bluebeam tab. To know how to annotate a PDF in Bluebeam Review and edit PDF content in a go, watch our separate video. Or you can read our detailed blog in the video description to know why you should use Bluebeam for PDF editing, designing, and annotation. For more Bluebeam tips and tricks, stay connected with Brighter Graphics Digitizing Construction since 2003.